she am farcaster it is wednesday april 24th and you are here with natish prof and adrian for 21 minutes of farcaster news to start your day and we might actually uh stick to that today because uh i have to get to my actual job today uh yeah <sighs> one more week we not can do this. Much, not for much longer. <laughs> not for much longer. We can do this. How are you this morning, Adrian? Is today She's Wednesday. got a whole Is different this... setup. Do you see? Do you see? She's got the headphones rocking. It's a, we're having a bit of a day. I'm just. <laughs> I'm on a new device today in a new location, in an undisclosed location. Undisclosed secret location. Um, Is, so today's Wednesday. Is it your last day on campus? Uh, no, I'm going to be there. Or last Wednesday. Wednesday. One more. Is it your last, last Wednesday, Wednesday on campus? campus. It's definitely my last say. Wednesday on campus because, uh, yeah, we'll be at uh, Farcon a week from today. I'll be on a plane. So, um, reminder. So tomorrow we do have the Farcon team on at, um, hey, hi, yes to crypto. Um, we do have the, I was going to say, what are you doing over there? <laughs> How did that get there? God, this is going to be a day. This show is going to be, it's going to be something. Um, tomorrow, we have the Farcon team coming on at 11.30 a.m. Eastern to talk about all things Farcon for next week and chat about all the fun things that we have going on. And then um, we have, uh, hmm, interesting. It says we're not live. Are we live? I hope we're live. Uh, okay. Hope we're live. Um, let me know if you're not seeing us. That'd be great. Okay, good. Um oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll show you my screenshot later and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, so we have them coming on tomorrow, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 Pacific to chat about all things Farcon. Really excited. And then Friday, we will be back on for our regular show. And then next week, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. So Friday, we will have our live from Farcon chat with Dan and Baroon our 100th episode and we are just i'm i'm a tad stressed <laughs> a little bit stressed with what, what could go wrong i mean i'm so you know you know what makes me happy when i'm stressed bows i mean bows are cute they're just cute so uh this from our friends our our friends who work at pinata um they are amazing and they have created a new meme coin that is launching this week and I loved this meme while putting a bow on his profile pic. I started to think maybe meme coins are for me. Um, little sex in the city meme there. And then it is not your bros meme coin. Bows over bros. Uh, and if you go, to, it hasn't launched yet, but if you go to the website, you can, you can bowify your PFP. So that is what's behind me and why I'm showing this first. So you can understand why my PFP now has a bow. Um, it's quite cute. So I'm Can really excited about this. Can I you don't think the color so. of the bow. I don't or know. I didn't try. I think it's just pink and I'm okay with that. I like, I like pink. I'm a pink girl. Um, so I, I do want two though. I would like to have one at each of the knots. Yeah. So I think I need a double bow. Um, so it's pretty, it's pretty cute. I'm excited. Um, that, uh, cows. <laughs> Okay, wow. so a couple things. <laughs> <laughs> Someone in our chat yeah. says, I assumed it was pronounced like cows, which is completely understandable <laughs> and completely like I can't think of more evidence for why we need more girl meme coins. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Too many bro meme coins. They're bows. They're bows. Like, they're bows. <laughs> I didn't even think it was bows. It didn't even <laughs> cross my mind. I think because I saw the bow. Um, so I'm kind of excited because I haven't, I do not recall at this time. I shouldn't say that. There have been a couple. But a, a let me put it a different way. I haven't seen a meme coin that I wanted uh, to actually dive into that was launched by an all- female team. So very excited about this. And that was girly. You know, we have, I shout out Bix Bite with Gloom. You're out there. I will not shout out some of the other ones that I remember from Twitter a while back. Um, there was one really funny one that I'm not even going to get into, but it was a full on rug. Um, but it was the, the Twitter space that went with it was quite hilarious. 
Uh, but I'm excited for this. I haven't really seen seen much uh, like this before, so this will be fun. So I'm really excited. Yeah, uh, and I, I I'm waiting to find out about a liquidity pool. I'm like, let me in. I'm, I'm in. I want to invest. <laughs> I just found there. myself. First of all, I've seen the pin uh, the pinata girls kind of posting a lot of bows on their timeline. They talk yeah. about it, but I thought it was an inside joke. Probably is. That's how all coins get started. Probably how it some starts. inside jokes. Yes. Um, but I get really annoyed seeing, yeah, I get really annoyed seeing a lot of the, um, the, the hams and the chickens and the, uh, even the arrows. And I love you hire, like I actually hire is like super fun, but I find, I just, and then I just saw bows everywhere yesterday and I was like, oh, I guess I see why people, it's cute. Yeah. It's cute. It's cute. I'm excited. No judgment. So something fun, (laughs) something fun for uh, coming this week. So look for that. Um, and speaking of, um, meme coins, let's check this out from Bolide. Um, they've been doing some fun things with airdrops and such. So, whoops, let me pull this one up. Um, so noggles are being, uh, noggle, the noggles lore are be- being added to by our friends at Bolide. So this is pretty cool. They shared some statistics about the top holders, um, on Farcaster that hold uh, Nogs. And I'm really surprised to see Crypto Girls in there. That was kind of shocking. Um, and I was very unsurprised to see Toadie and Gammy in there. So I had somebody had asked me a question about Nogs because they didn't know what um, what exactly it was and all of that. So just really quickly, Nogs are a coin that was launched by the Nouns Naming Service, NNS. And dot nouns, and he was funded to develop this sort of rails, uh, these crypto rails. Uh, so the dot noggles, which is the dot and actually the Unicode noggles, if you see those, I think really just on Twitter, um, that is like that is part of NNS. And if you had one that on your Twitter profile and you were participating in governance in the nounish na- various nounish DAOs, you were essentially earning this Nog coin. And then the LP launched last week and that raised some funds to back up the Nog coin. And then all of that launched a couple days ago. <clears throat> the, the LP was deployed. And so now Nogs have some value and as well as tipping. So tipping is now with Nogs has now come to Farcaster. Yes, more tipping, more tipping for you all. Um, it works a little different. It is not an allowance. It's actually coming from your wallet or from tips that you've gotten from others. So um, if you're in the chat right now, uh, I'm going to be looking later and I'm going to go tip you some dogs. So just saying, if you're not in the chat right now, it's it's sad for you. But for the rest of you that are in there, um, so if you are a non in the chat, please make sure I know who you are on Farcaster or else I can't tip you. And I see I see at least one. So just give me a little shout out. Hey, it's and drop your Farcaster uh, profile because I have literally millions and millions of nogs. I have I've already sold some, but I have, I think, somewhere in the ballpark of like 11 million nogs. So fair a couple for my friends in the chat. Um, so coming soon. And Adrian, I'll send you some nogs as well. I'm just going to send a little bit of nogs. Thanks. Just a little bit of nogs here and there. Um, okay. So moving on. Um, but it is fun to see Bolide doing all these different things with uh, these airdrops and fun things that they've been doing to share about meme coins that are happening on Farcaster. Um, moving on to our friend Ryan, who was on with us the other day, has the the search for the white rabbit is on. And the games have started. So uh, the hunt is, uh, have you heard the hunt for the white rabbit hole is well underway and there are still time to find the secrets to unlock six of the seven rabbit holes. And you can go to guild.xyz, the creators, Shibuya puzzlers, the fir- first three unique addresses to get six and mint the DGen white rabbit will win one of these fabulous prizes. So check this out. Um, we're we're one of the uh, hints. So if you minted the episode from the other day, uh, that was Monday, you may have unlocked one of the secrets. So there you go. And there was actually another clue within the episode itself. 
So check that out. Uh, I love this. It's really fun. They basically just took the prize they won and flipped it around and turned it into a whole other treasure hunt, which I think is super fun. Um, and speaking of that, this was from JTGI. He open sourced the Shibuya frame and commented and explained below. And this will be in our show notes if you want to check it out. Uh, the frame itself was very cool. That was the puzzle frame that I mentioned earlier where you could see the puzzle pieces that you minted um, and the ones of your those you were following. But you had to be following in, to, in order to see them. Uh, and now they pull together the puzzle. So very cool. It was a really cool frame mechanic. So that really was, I thought, the part of the, the most interesting part of the of the puzzle. Um, now this from Jesse, if it loads, I'm having loading problems earlier. Based Institute has launched, maybe, there we go. Um, the Based Institute introduced, and I'm going to, I'm not going to read this whole thing. You can go mint it and own it yourself, but Jesse is, uh, up to, up to some fun here. The Based Institute is a research organization created to study what it means to be based including the origins of the term based, the base God and other early culture of base. Through this study, we hope to support the development of an optimistic, abundant and based culture in the base economy. And there is an opportunity to go share what you believe based is. Uh, so you can share in any format what you believe based is. And there is a round happening right now. And if you're not familiar with rounds, this is a way to essentially a competition style format in channels. So share what it means to be based by making a post in slash based, not base, but based with a D with based is to earn your share of one ETH. We want to hear from you in any format, art, writing, music, or whatever works best for you. So go ahead and post in based. And I did post mine. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there. No, it's not up there, but I said based is building with my friends on far that I met on Farcaster. That would Aww. be you, Adrian. Aw, that was Aww. that's all about Adrian. Based. Uh, so based. It's so based. So this is really fun. And again, if you're not familiar with rounds, rounds came out of Nouns Prop House. And it's been an easy way for you can put together a pool of funds that you want to distribute via a contest of some sort, have people post, and then you can either token gate it um, and say, you know, these particular voters can like these posts and the top ones get a share of the prize. Um, or you can let anybody who's in that channel vote on them. So kind of a cool, cool mechanism and they are using it for this. Um, we've had a lot of crazy development going on this week. I don't know if you, I mean, not that that's unusual, but I just feel like my feed right now, like it feels I, like frame Fridays on a Wednesday. I where know, have you but been? it feels... <laughs> It feels like frame Fridays on a Wednesday um, because there's just a lot. Like I just keep seeing so many cool things that people are developing and Coinbase wallet, smart wallet is coming. Great impl implementation here by dynamic. And we can't wait to see more Debs Join our early adopter list at uh, Coinbase dot Coinbase.com wallet, smart wallet. Um, and this is just really cool. Smart wallet is magical. We implemented V1 internally in an hour. This is from a tie from dynamic. We put together a walkthrough of the awesome experience in a video below a global wallet, no extensions needed pass keys enabled available to all dynamic SDK customers the day it rolls out. So this is coming still in development, but if you are a dev and are interested in doing anything that might, uh, implement this, go check out that video. Um, very cool. And then this from Proxy Studio. Um, I want Proxy Swap to be a true Farcaster native DEX, a DEX with a real social integration. Today we dropped an MVP bootstrapped with DGen tips and fabric revenue. Like th there's a lot to unpack in this, in this just one sentence. Tomorrow we make it better. Um, slash Open Ventures teamed up with um, Saxon .eth and FBI and slash FBI to do one thing, grow DGen chain. This is proxy swap dot tips. So really interesting. And I think it's, you know, along the idea of a Uniswap, but for DGen chain. 
Um, so this just launched. Um, and what I found most interesting was the um, boots strapped with DGen tips and fabric revenue. We keep we've seen this a few times um, with DGen tips being used to fund things. A um, little risky. It's kind of like you know doing it on credit, but really interesting mechanics. And then fabric revenue being hypersub or crowdfunding. Um, Proxy Studios does have a hypersub, I believe. That's I think it's sold out and limited, um, but really interesting approach to sort of funding funding new ventures. And I'm, I'm loving seeing all of this so much. And I've heard it's, yeah, so fast and smooth. Um, really interesting swap. A lot of people have been uh, mentioning that it's really good. I looked at, um, it has, there is uh, somewhere where you can actually purchase the token for it. Um, so really interesting. And so much more to come. Um, I'm really loving, like, what do you think about that? Like bootstrapping with tips. Like we've seen a few things happen like that. Thoughts? I'm a little risk averse myself. <laughs> so the tipping, which hasn't actually, which I haven't claimed yet, like future tips and, um, and then also um, not knowing future value of DGEN. I, but mm -hmm. so for me personally, it's risky. I, don't know if I would, risky. I would do, but, um, so much. Okay. I'm, I'm also preparing my seniors talk for next week. And one common theme keeps talking about mm -hmm. is like taking risks and how, um, the community will applaud risky moves. So I'm here to applaud. Yeah. Good job. Go for, for it. Sure. I think that's a great point regarding risk. And this leads me into a nice segue. I'm going to skip ahead on some of my links, maybe. By the maybe way, in the chat. Give me a little slow uh, moment. Well, yes, I'll, go ahead. I'll bring it. I'll bring in the chat. I'm, I'm laughing because um, yes to crypto. I am not. <laughs> yeah. Is, uh, I am not what? Risk averse? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, I, you are the, uh, yes to crypto, you are the definition of not risk averse. <laughs> you are no, Jolie said example. that. Oh no, but I know, but he oh, said Jolie. he called himself yeah. an investor in uh, Proxy Studio. He said oh, it's so cool. great. He's like, I'm an investor, but then he said what he means by that is he's hyper sub. And right. just that concept. So yeah. for all you people who are hyper sub with GM Farcaster, can we call you our investors now? We've got we're back no, we by cannot. a team of <laughs> Gary oh, does sorry. not like that. No, 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 no. Hundred and thirty incredible <laughs> investors from Farcaster. No, because they're not accredited investors. And no, and sorry, Gary, she doesn't know what she's saying. <laughs> Don't come after us. I love, well, I love HyperSub as investors. Okay. I do too. I do too. I love. I one hundred percent agree. And also, I hope someday we can make that an actual legal thing. Um, okay. But yeah, I I love it. We're gonna go support her. Did you Come not see supporters. my air quotes? Did you not see yes. my air quotes today? Yes, but we don't even want to. We don't want to play with this just in case they're. No, the people who are just listening did not see your air quotes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but related, related. This was from Nick uh, in Skin in the Game. Um, what's your highest conviction bet right now? The risky, the riskier, the better. And most people he had commented later said they, you know, themselves. And I, I added my own little piece here for us, leaving academia and going all in on GM Farcaster with Adrian, betting oh. on us and indirectly on Farcaster and all y'all. Um, sometimes I slip into Southern. I can't help myself. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think the risk aversion, you know, the risk taking, I should say, uh, pretty big on Farcaster. You have a lot of people taking risks, but um, also, you know, seeing some success from those risks. All right. We're going to whip through a few more things. Speaking of um, doing some cool building, we've teamed, this is from Yasik. We've teamed up with Matcha XYZ as our go-to decks for trading DGen, and we're thrilled about it. They've built an outstanding platform. We're excited to collaborate. Plus, it's super cool to see them handing out over 3 million DGen to their users. Um, and this was from Matcha. Before that, let's make this Warpcast official. We're partnering with DGen as the preferred decks of DGen gang, of Top Hat gang. In the past 60 days, we've distributed 3 million DGen to Matcha users, and now we're doubling down. What do you want to see from this Matcha X DGen partnership? Comment below for a tip. So 
If you want to grab a tip from matcha, they may have already distributed everything, but check it out. And we're excited. We chatted with the matcha team yesterday. We have a little fun little thing um, that we're going to do with them at Farcon. So if you're going to be there at our event on Friday, you'll get to participate. Um, and we also are seeing things come out of the deploy on DGen week. So this from Yasek also, Alpha Friends has just launched. They're introducing some cool features with streaming DGen while playing a game. Whoever manages to yoink the flag and hold it will get streamed DGen. Pretty fun. Um, if you're not playing Yoink, that's a pretty fun game there. We've this not from Wade. about Yoink on our show. I don't we think. really haven't. I occasionally, I have a bookmarked and I occasionally Yoink, but I don't Yoink. Um, so someday we might have to go into the Yoink lore. We might have to. We'll have to get with Horse Facts at uh, at Farcon and see if we can get we can get the deets on the uh, on the Yoink lore. Um, this was from Wake. I assume this also may have come out of Deploy and DGen Week, since everyone is asking. Spaces, but made for us. Yes, it uses our money. Farhouse for details, dropping soon. And this is like Twitter spaces, but on Farcaster, finally, that everybody's been wanting. Um, and then uh, one last funny. One last funny. Uh, Dan does not have time for you. Just letting you know right now. Um, it'll, it'll come eventually, but, uh, so, uh, Dan Romero excited to see many of you at Farcon next week. My schedule is pretty packed. So polite decline for grabbing a coffee meal drink in advance. So this of course launched a whole bunch of really fun replies, a couple of which, uh, this from McBain, please Romero. I swear. I just need to pick your brain for two seconds, bro. This partnership is going to send Farcaster to the moon, bro, where the decentralized backbone of the alternative market for the trading and the commodifying of real world assets, bro. Farcaster people are going to love it, bro. Please. 29 DJ. <laughs> so McBain, that was, that was a work of that was work of, uh, of beauty. And speaking of yoink, this was from Erica. As long as I get to yoink horse facts IRL again, everything is chill. What? <laughs> we're, Erica, we're, I, 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 I don't even, we're just going to leave you there. We're just going to leave you there with that. Actually, I'm going to leave you with one. Is there more. a betting market on whether Erica gets to re-yoink horse facts IRL at Farcon next week? I, I mean, I don't even know what exactly that entails. Nope. But I don't need to. You know, maybe, maybe we shouldn't, you know, be invited to that. Yoink. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but uh, one last thing. This was from um, uh, Userstein had dropped this piece and he won the artist program's first grant. So I posted this excited to see that Userstein is the first artist for a little nouns, Dow nouns artist program. Go give this a mint. And if you enjoy it, you know what to do. So this was really cool. This is the initial drop from round one of the 3,900 collaborative artist program page, which will hold all of the inaugural rounds CCO pieces. So what's special about this, and it is CC zero. Um, and that is the idea behind the artist program is to onboard new artists who share their work as CC zero. So that is it. Um, I have to go get to a meeting well, for my day job. I mean, let me, let you, let me go. It's the last one. <laughs> it's the last one. Oh, but uh, reminder, reminder to those in the chat, if you are in the chat live um, and if you are non, please make sure I have just put a quick note in there. Let me know what your, what your FC handle is or DM me or something um, so that I can send you some dogs. Um, so I will be nogging some of your replies later today. Um, and if it is nogified, even better, you'll get more. So if you know what that means, there you go. Uh, anything else, Adrian? I kind of flew through a bunch of stuff there at the end. Um, I'm just, I'm excited. It sounds like yes to crypto is bringing in IRL yoink flag to, uh, Farcon. So thanks in advance for bringing that. That'll be fun. And um, he's going to be like those guides. He'll be like this and we'll, we'll know exactly where to find him. Like when you're on a tour. I can't <laughs> wait. I cannot wait to talk to the, the Farcon team tomorrow because I had such a good time I with know. Brandon Cameron yesterday. So super excited so for that. And um, 
and shout out. We there was a question on the feed asked yesterday about what it means to be nounish. And I know oh, you yes. answered in the feed, and I know we don't have time to talk about it today. So I'm kicking maybe kick that to Friday. Yeah, we'll kick that to Friday. Um, nounish is a is a whole, it's a state of mind. It's a state of mind. Um, but I did add a note on there, which I know I can't find right now, but it was from Punk4156 had said it best. And essentially it's, you know, giving without expectation of return. There's a whole bunch of bunch of uh, explanations there. There's a whole white paper virtuous cycle. Um, so we'll dig into that maybe on Friday um, and I'll, I'll maybe add some nogs to, uh, to Friday's show as well. So that's it, everyone. We got to go. I hope you have a lovely Wednesday and uh, be careful who you yonk IRL because, you know, yoink IRL, you never, you know, they may not know what you're talking about. So don't do that. Keep your yoinking to yourself and keep it on, keep it on Farcaster. Uh, and we'll see you tomorrow at 1130 a.m. 830 Eastern, 830 a.m. Pacific with the Farcon team and all things Farcon. So see you then. Bye-bye.